Nucor has safely removed a portion of the 32-foot tall reactor vessel in the Oak Ridge Research Reactor Building at the Oak Ridge National Laboratory. A diamond saw, lowered into the pool water, was used to cut through and separate a section of the upper half of the reactor. The remaining portion of the reactor above the pool floor will be removed after the remaining connections to the reactor are eliminated. The final portion of the reactor is embedded in the concrete pool floor of the building and extends into the basement. It will be part of facility demolition. A cargo container loaded with the top third of the reactor has been relocated outside the building. Additional bagged secondary waste was added as filler, bringing the waste container to approximately 20,000 pounds. The container will be shipped off-site. At the ORNL Process Waste Treatment Plant, Building 3544, Crews are continuing utility reroutes to the 4001 Influent Pump Station. These reroutes are needed to prepare Building 3544 for cold and dark status, meaning that all utilities to the facility have been disconnected. This station provides vital support to the liquid and gaseous waste operations facilities. A crew of riggers, pipe fitters, welders, operators, millwrights, and carpenters safely installed a structural pipe bridge over 3rd Street along with steam and water piping. The three structural steel sections required to create the bridge over 3rd Street were each approximately 32 feet long, weighing 1,100 pounds each. The next phase of the project will include welding the remaining steam and water pipe and installing the steam control station, followed by post-installation testing. In preparation for contaminated sediment removal from the canal inside ORNL Building 3002, Crews are performing a mock-up of filter bag removal from the dewatering box. Water and sediment will be pumped from the 3002 canal. The dewatering box is located inside ORNL Building 3003. The dewatering boxes are lined with filter bags, which collect the sediment while allowing the water to pass through and be pumped back to the 3002 canal. Once a filter bag is filled, it will be removed and placed in a B12 box for shipping and disposal. The process will be repeated until all sediment has been removed from the 3002 canal. This mock-up allows the operators to familiarize themselves with the equipment and to ensure there is enough overhead space for the equipment to operate inside Building 3003. Removal of the contaminated sediment from the 3002 canal will bring the OGR support facilities one step closer to demolition. Crews at East Tennessee Technology Park recently used direct push sampling to identify the boundary of contamination at the EU-21 site, which encompasses the area inside the U-shaped footprint of the former K-25 building. Since the area was bound, the EU-21 crews have begun excavation. The crews are excavating the final section of contaminated material. Once the area is completely excavated, the material will remain covered and protected until the waste shipping profiles are complete. The expansion area is expected to generate 23,800 cubic yards of material. Stay tuned to see the progress we make next month and follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter.